didn't think about starting a label until several years after graduating. Bullet Dodge was started initially from my own output, but then obviously once you start running a label, you get caught up in it. Bullet Dodge Records um, uh, releases music across the kind of house and techno spectrum. Um, our kind of main focus was is a kind of deeper, darker, dubber side of both genres. Um, but you know that's not to say we wouldn't release a, a kind of main room type sounding techno or, or house track. Um, uh, you know if the quality's right, and, and we think it, it, it suits the label, then we'll, we'll put it out. Uh, apart from myself, um, there are others involved in um, the label. I mean, we've got, we've got interns um, that uh, they help us out, but then there's um, Scott Johnson, aka My Evil Twin, as he's selling as he's um, producer and artist name. I'm Scott, um, and I'm the ENR for Bill Dodge Records. And basically, any demos that's sent into the label, um, it's be listening to them first, and then. Once I kind of thought I'm down from what I think is good for the label and what I don't think is good for the label, we have a wee meeting with myself and Gareth and we, we, we go through what, which ones we're going to take for it. The amount of artists that we've got on the label now, I mean, we must be um, probably not far off a hundred, maybe more so, because you've got, well, we've just, we're about, we've just released BDR 59, which is our 59th release. Um, now, obviously, uh, some artists have released uh, more than once on the label, but then you've also got you know a lot of remixes who have maybe one-off appearances. The artists we've had on the label, higher-profile artists, we've had people like Carol Cox, Ben Sims, Robert Hood. We must be sitting round about the um, round about the hundred mark, I think, in total of artists that have appeared on the label, whether that be an original or a remix. My name is Raymond Ward, and um, AKA Wardy, as everybody knows me, it's my alias. Well, Bullet Dodge Records is quite simple. Um, first met Gareth actually through Master uh, DJ at uh, Bullet Dodge Night, and then when I heard obviously the label and everything, uh, um, come up and I uh, produced a tune with It gets to the point you're DJing, you know, you're you're playing other people's tunes and they're great and you go, you know, I want to be able to do this, I want to do this, you know, get so many ideas in your head and then um, but putting it into practice is two different things. So you're like, right, mm. artists that you thought were good, you then realise they're exceptional, you know. And there's other ones you think that, you know, that are quite weird because you think, God, that's so simple, but it's brilliant, you know. It's like this, like a rift or something. It's just, it's amazing. It's things that stay in your head, and you're like, how do you know? And it's just, um, you don't realise um, just what goes into it until you actually try it for the, first, you know, try it for yourself. And every time you get in there, you're learning, you know. And, and Gareth's a bit of a whiz, you know. I just look, just, you know, he can do something in five minutes. It take me five months, you know what I mean? And I'm like, Pff. it's a lot to learn, but it's, it, it's fun learning. And hours pass, and you're like, well, was that the time? And it's, you know, I wish school was like that. <laughs> Bullet Dodge is also part of a, um, a collaborative uh, project with um, a record label called EPM. Um, the two of us have, uh, we work EPM records and, and, you know, Bullet Dodge, we work quite closely in, in a variety of things. But one of them is this, it's called the Players Club, which is an events concept. And the idea behind it is that um, we put on um, events or, or, or parties that and the artists that are involved in it are artists that have been on either EPM records or, e, or Bullet Dodge. We tend to have quite a bit of crossover with the, with the music anyway. Um, and the idea behind it is more it's like a family affair because everyone knows everyone that's involved in it because both labels know each other and um, we've got a, a kind of tight bond um so when we did solar that was that was as um, the, the solar tent was a players club tent so again it was epm and, and, and bullet dodge but yeah we're not you know it was it was i think a three to four thousand capacity tent that was pretty much rammed by certainly 
late afternoon, you know. So yeah, it was good. We had um, we had Robert Hood, Ben Sims, Mark Broom, James Ruskin, Dirk Crew, myself, my evil twin, Detroit Grand Poobaz, Mingus. I think I think I might have missed anyone out. So you know, it was it, it was a kind of um, a sound that went across the board. We you know we had techno, we had house, you know, and I think that's 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 one of the um, focuses that you know we've always tried to. Um, concentrate on, you know. Nowadays, I think everyone is, is, is establishing themselves on a, an international level just by being on, you know, o o online. Facebook's probably where I've managed to get a lot of the, the tracks for, for the label, um, and it's good for contacts as well. Um, Contrary to belief, a lot of people do sit on chat, you know what I mean? Um, a lot of the big DJs anyway. Um, some aren't forthcoming at answering their messages, mind you, but um, a lot of them are, but, you know I mean? They, they understand it, that they have to uh, can interact with the, the, the people that are, are into them as well, you know what I mean? So, out with the, the realms of social media, which is automatically giving you an international reach, uh, we, we, you know, we, we use promo companies that are targeting press, um, again, whether that's physical or online press, you know, an international reach, so whether that be US, you know, Asia, uh, Europe. Um, again, pushing for the label parties as well as, as kind of increasing our, our worldwide reach because we're contacting um, promoters and clubs, you know, in, in other countries because that's where, you know, most of it, you know, 99% of the gigs are, they're not in, actually in the UK. Um, so yeah, so that, you know, that's um, pushing it at an international level as well. And then, you know, you've got obviously the, the, the just the general distribution of the music is obviously going out um, worldwide. You know, you just have to take the various platforms like Juno or what people play or Beatport, you know, iTunes. You know, they're all, maybe not so much iTunes because it can be it can be territory um, based, but, you know, with the others right away, it's... Um, you know, they're, they're dedicated to, to putting the music out at a, an international level rather than focusing on um, specific regions. But we have a scheme at Bullet Dodge um, where we involve uh, interns. I'm Jackson and I'm an intern at Bill Dodge Records. I work for the booking agency side of things, which is Jaw Music, and I'm basically the first point of contact between the records artists and venues and promoters. All it is is really, you know, they help us and we give them, in return, we give them, you know, a bit of experience as to how um, the label works, not but operates, although the, the tasks may be quite basic and menial, it, 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 you know, it's showing an insight into what needs to get done because um, just the the day-to-day -day running of a label and involvement and it can be you know boring you know but that's you know we hope that they get some experience and um you know in return we can help them by maybe providing them with contact contacts for other people in the industry and that type of thing so what i hope to get out of the whole internship is just more industry experience it's very difficult to get industry experience in the more business kind of side of things it's more live performance experience than most people have so this is really useful to me Once I, I graduated from um, from university, I spent a lot of time working in various studios, doing a lot of voluntary work. So it was quite important for me, I think, when setting up or establishing myself to then offer something back to you know, up and coming uh, students or, or people with an interest in the, the music industry. Bullet Dodge was started initially from my own output, but then obviously once you start running a little bit, you get caught up in it.